In this video, I will show you how to add and subtract time, particularly in hours, minutes and seconds format. Adding time is important when uh, in, in management, calculating uh, labor hours, uh, or even as a subcontractor, adding up time, uh, how much time you spent on uh, what parts of a job, keeping your ongoing job separate, and uh, running a tab on those, adding time is important. Now, if you have time in uh, decimal hour format, in decimal hour format, then time looks like, say on one job you spent 1.2 hours and on another, uh, and later uh, on the same job you spent uh, 0 0.7 hours, you can just add it, standard decimal addition, and it's uh, and it's done uh, however and that's easy and then you can convert it back and conversion is covered in another title in this video we will do it in hours minutes and seconds because it is harder that way it is also more accurate because uh, in decimal hours you often end up with uh, six or eight significant decimal digits and uh, and it, it's easier to do some of this stuff in hours, minutes, and seconds. Let's just zoom a little closer and let's get started. For example, you have six hours. Actually, I'm going to write hours this way. Six hours, 18 minutes, and four seconds that you want to add because you worked that much on, uh, on uh, one particular uh, job and uh, you have already worked on the same job before and you want to add it to your time that you already spent on a particular task and say you spent on it 17 hours 29 minutes and 42 seconds so adding time is fairly straightforward as long as you keep in mind that you have to add the seconds in and of themselves and write their total there in that spot you add the minutes together in this column and write the total there and then you add the hours amount and you write it in uh, that spot there and if you have to if you have more than 60 here you're gonna have to trade up some of the amounts from seconds into minutes and from minutes into hours so let's see how this works out let's add 4 plus 2 is 6 0 plus 4 is 0 we've got 46 minutes uh, no trading up is necessary on that one. 8 plus 9 is 17. You have a 1 carryover. 2, 3, and 4. That's 47 minutes there. 6 plus 7 is 13. I'll write down the 3 and the 1 carryover. This one is just a stray mess there. Uh, and 1 plus 1 is 2. The total time you spent on that particular job is... 23 hours, 47 minutes, and 46 seconds. I will show you how this works on a calculator. If you have a scientific calculator like this, or even simpler ones uh, have this button, degrees, minutes, and seconds. Now this one has degrees on it, and it relates to cir uh, circles and uh, the degrees as well as the minutes and as well as the seconds however they will work uh, for adding time as well as long as you keep in mind that if you have more than 24 hours uh, you can trade it up for a day whereas degrees will you can just keep adding it you have 360 degrees in a circle it will just keep uh, going up and even if you have more than 360 it just uh, calculator will just uh, carry it on and and will not ever trade it for anything else so uh, you might need to trade some of your amounts into days some of the hours but but here we have 23 hours and uh, no trading no trading up in this one is necessary no trading up 
So let's see how this works in a calculator with this DMS button. 6, DMS, 18, DMS, 4, and I don't need to press DMS again because the calculator places it automatically, plus 17, DMS, 29, DMS, 42, equals 23, check, 47, check, 46, check. That's how to do this on a calculator. Let's do another one with trading up so I can demonstrate this. For example, how about 18 hours, 47 minutes and 17.42 seconds for the fancy. Seconds in uh, tenth and hundredth place value will also work out with uh, adding, and adding time in this format. You'll see say 22 hours 38 minutes and how about 51.99 seconds let's add all of this up and again just as in the previous one you have to add up the second the seconds and write the total here in the seconds column and then do the same with the minutes write up the total here and then the minutes Sorry, and then the hours and write the hours down here. If there's any trading to be done, I'll show you how this uh, trading works out. Let's add first. 9 plus 2, 11. So there's the one carryover. 9 plus 1 is 12. Sorry, 9 plus 1 is 10. That's 14 there. Decimal dot stays there, and it's a 14. 7 plus 1 is 8, plus 1 is 9 no remainder 5 plus 1 is 6 we have 69 seconds it's obviously too many you can't have more than 60 here so we'll trade it I'll show you 7 plus 8 is 15 and the one carry over 4 plus 3 and 1 is 8 8 plus 2 is 10 one over there and that's a 4 40 hours 85 minutes 69.41 seconds let's trade some of this one to do that we have to subtract time from this one we can trade 60 away from it so we have 9.41 seconds that's left here and these 60 seconds trade up here and add a uh, trade up here as a one and they get added to the minutes amount and now you have 86 minutes here now 86 minutes is again too many we can take away 60 from it and when we do that we have 26 left and it's part of the final answer but the 60 that we took away from the minutes get traded up here as a one because 60 minutes they make one hour and then we make the total here <coughs> 41 minutes there so the answer is 41 minutes 26 sorry for <coughs> 41 hours 26 minutes four 9.41 seconds now if you want to you can trade some of it for days and subtract 24 from it and uh, you cannot take away 4 from 1 so you have to trade some of that so that's a 3 and that becomes an 11 11 take away 4 is 7 and three take away two is one and you have a one this 24 becomes a one a one day 17 hours and 26 minutes and four nine point forty one seconds now let's see how this works on a calculator eighteen dms forty seven dms 17.42 plus 
22 DMS 38 DMS 51.99 equals yep calculator is right I am also right it is 41 hours 26 minutes 9.41 seconds and again let me just try to keep this curly page down and again uh, the calculator cannot possibly uh, convert uh, the 41 hours into anything else but you can by uh, trading 24 hours for one day and that's the only difference between the calculator's calculation and uh, what you can do on paper so that concludes addition here let's do subtraction and let's do a hard one because you know me and uh, I don't do easy let's say an apprentice has 24 hours in a day to spend on anything you have 24 hours in a day to excel uh, just as uh, the president has 24 hours or your uh, sports heroes have 24 hours to excel and improve you too have the same 24 hour chunk to improve say it's not really 24 hours because you're sleeping some say you sleep 17 hour, sorry 7 hours 14 minutes and uh, how about 28.52 seconds so that's sleep time now how we measure 28.52 seconds of sleep time don't worry about it just go with the story here we're gonna do a subtraction in hours minutes and seconds format now this one doesn't look all right because you cannot take away 28 from nothing and 14 from nothing you must have amounts here other than zero and this one is a point zero zero 24 hours is the same as 24 hours 0 minutes 0 0.00 seconds so one hour needs to be traded we have 23 hours and 60 minutes that's nice we have a 60 here so we can that would work with the 14 but we also need some uh, amounts here so we have to take one of the minutes away and trade it for seconds say 60 minutes is the same thing as 59 minutes and 60 seconds so this 60 seconds helps the 28, but it doesn't help these decimal tens and tenths and hundredths. So we have to take one second away. Oops, that's a 59. We'll make it a 59. There, 59 point, uh, how about that one? Say $60. This is how I look at it. $60 is the same as $59 and 10 dimes this 10 here is in the tenths column here these are the tenths here and that helps the tenths but it doesn't help the hundredth amounts here the hundredth place value amounts so we have to trade one of the dimes and we have nine left and take it for trade it for uh, 10 pennies now we can subtract we have amounts everywhere 10 take away 2 is 8 9 minus 5 is 4 decimal dot 9 take away 8 is 1 5 subtract 2 is 3 dot dot next one nine take away four is a fiver five minus one is four dot dot three minus seven is okay that won't work either we have to take away from the tens one and take the other one and add it to the ones 
now we can do it. 13 take away 7 is in the neighborhood of 6 and that's a 0 there and 1 take away nothing is 1. My answer is to this subtraction question how much time does an apprentice have in a day to uh, spend awake, improve and excel? If you sleep 7 hours 14 minutes and 28.52 seconds you will have 16 hours 45 seconds and 31.48 seconds to uh, spend on bettering yourself. Let's do a calculator version here. I'm just gonna zoom out a little bit. And this is how you can enter it. 24 DMS button minus. And the calculator fills it with zeros and it in immediately interprets it as 24 either degrees or hours. Six, uh, sorry, zero minutes and zero seconds minus 7 DMS 14 DMS 28.52 oops 52 equals 16 yep 16 checks out that's good 45 16 hours 45 minutes 31.48 seconds all right so my calculation is correct that's how to uh, do these calculations on a calculator and uh, I say you have 16 hours and 45 minutes left let's get to work